All right, hi, we're back in Marmoset, and I'm going to import the high and low meshes of our mesh. These are the more perfect versions I've made for the project. These videos are only going to last like maybe probably over an hour, but it takes a lot longer than that to make these. Nice. So here's your low. Let's look at our high. So it's uh, funny looking. You see the detail, all nice and stuff. All right. So uh, again, we'll, we'll bake. Got the low, throw in the low, high, and the high. Let's create spot where it's going to save and let's make a new folder it's save, uh, demo. all right uh gonna go to 4k we're gonna need our normals let's throw in our ao to uh press configure Let's take, you don't really need a curvature. You probably use then Substance Painter if you want to. Um, actually, I'll just show you guys some cool little tricks later on. Take Convex Concave, maybe the height, I don't know. We need thickness. Um, we don't need that. Mm, all right, let's try that out. So let's uh, bake. All right, so we're back and maps are done baking. Let's look at them. Let's see. Recordings, bakes. Let's see how they came out. Nice. All right. So looking good. We don't need that anymore. Let's see convex. That's all the stuff that's on the outside. Pretty much concave, but the opposite. Pretty sure. Let's see. Okay, so convex, it's like, um, it's kind of like everything that's on top, that's pushing out of beyond what's uh, flat. And concave is anything that dips below what's kind of flat. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. AO, we got that. That's kind of like all where all the shadow hits uh, indirectly kind of. See, this is useful. All right, and let's see, I think the height, uh, we don't need height. Didn't think we got anything out of it. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my finished versions. So here are the three grayscale maps I created in Photoshop using the bakes we got. Because we already have our color normal so now we just need these three thickness so we get this normally but i want it to be like this because you want to really highlight more of these areas and i mean you could just use plop this in but if you want to really exaggerate some of the parts you can um just use the levels And just do it till you kind of find what you like. No big deal. Pretty easy. So that's thickness. So what we use for subsurface scattering in our material in uh, Unreal using that project we have. All right, let's um, let's 
So this is the roughness map. This is where it kind of shows where spots are shiny or rough on your person. So for this, um, let me bring it up a little bit. Oops, I guess not. All right, so do that. All right, so let's work backwards. What I did was I took my AO and did the levels on it. So now I gotta have a nice space gray color. I inverted it because what we need is the the pores to be more white. More yeah, the more white it is, the more rough it is, because the pores are rougher. So I inverted it. See how the pores AO catches all the pores. So levels invert. Yeah, you just kind of feel, you know. Uh, let's see. Then I threw on a a black fill layer. Turned it down to seventy five percent and multiplied it because that value I had was a little bit too bright. So. Toning it down using this layer helped. Let's see, so now let's see what I have. So I had this convex layer, which I multiplied. So let's see what looks see what looks normal. So that's the con I guess that's concave actually. Or is it concave? Alright, so that's the convex, I guess, because <laughs> I wrote convex. Little levels to bring out some more of the details. So now we really see what's popping out, not the pores, but what's on the outside. So yeah, just mess with that till I got something like this and inverted it because I want what was on the outside to be darker because then they're less rough. So everything that's darker is shiny. So let's turn that back into, I think it was a multiply. So I took that value, multiplied it to what we had before. So now you kind of stack them together. Looks pretty nice. And I took the concave now. So, was, so I have a screen on it. Layer type, let's look at normal. All right, maybe not. Oh. All right, so normal and screen, whatever. Looks the same, I guess. So screen, 50%. So that's what it looks like. Turn it down 50%. Screen, screen's kind of like the opposite of multiply, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it works. <laughs> uh, I took it and inverted it. Because, like I said, pores are white. Well, because white is less shiny. And then the levels and... See what it looks like uh, normal. Okay, so this is how it was. Inverted it. So now the values are correct for roughness. The pores are more rough, so they're whiter. And then levels, because I want to adjust it a little bit. Levels are pretty great. Use them all the time. Now you want to screen it, and because that's the type of mixing level mixing that worked well. I just kind of like moved around till it looked right. And yeah, that's my roughness. So when we apply it, we're gonna have um, shinier here, because people usually have shiny foreheads and cheeks and stuff. And yeah, shiny, shiny, shiny. Specular. So I actually use a lot of the same stuff. Let me uh, go through it with you guys. All right, start with AO, because I thought it looked good. Did levels, just actually it's the same exact file. I just added some extra stuff. So now I have the thickness. So with the thickness, you have to invert it, I think. Um, wait, nope, I didn't start with AO. I just made it simpler by adding, adding extra stuff to it. So, Start with the thickness actually, 
right? The one we uh, made earlier, which we're using. Invert it. So now, specular is how uh, big the shiny spots are. If that makes sense. How if you if it's like uh, super shiny, it's like a small dot of shine. It's like kind of less specular, then it kind of diffuses the shine more. It's hard to explain. But if you're making humans, then you're probably advanced anyway, and you understand this better than me. All right, so we're going to invert it because we want these areas to be darker because then they'll be more specular. We fix the values a little bit by adding the same multiply, 75% gray. Well, it's black, 75% of black is dark gray. I think I threw in the convex. Again, get that same uh, kind of uh, outer. They're kind of similar maps, actually. So same with the concave. All right, so now we're pretty much the same as before, except instead of the AO, I use thickness. I don't really know I'm doing it. What I did was... I just made it look right, and it worked. And it's kind of like cheating, but that's what 3D art is, cheating. Make things look correct, even if they're not physically right or something. Anyways, AO. I felt like it needed more, um, I don't know, stuff in the darker areas. So I multiplied it. About 50% was good. Did a levels to it. Now we're getting somewhere, spreading out a little bit more. See so, how, uh, get a little more pulling out the values. And then we invert because we wanted these spots to be extra shiny. Got a nice shine on the forehead because that's where people get greasy, their foreheads. Where you get pimples on your forehead and your nose too. All right, so now we have our specular, our rough, and our thickness. Those are our three grayscale maps we'll need. Now we have all five maps required for Unreal Engine, and we can uh, finish up our character. Or we can move along to the next step.